Here we have a directory of chromatogram files, which we're going to ask Chromaseq to process. It's going to ask us a bunch of setup questions, and we won't worry about details. Here's our directory. So Chromaseq is scripted Fred and Frap to make base calls and do contigging. It's pulled in the results, done some necessary post-processing, like trimming and changing things to ambiguity calls as needed. Um, and here we see it pulls in one matrix for each gene that's represented among the, the chromatograms. Uh, here we have one of the matrices. We can't see the individual bases very well because we're looking at it, what's called the bird's eye view, as if from a distance. Let's change that so that we can see the individual bases. Here they are. And the coloring scheme that's used here is one that's related to the quality score as judged by Fred and Frapp, the quality of the bases. And so these paler bases are high quality bases with good strong chromatogram peaks, consistent, and the ones that are darker greens and blues are not so good bases. We could take a look at, scroll through, we could take a look at the contig and the chromatograms associated with it in detail using the chromatogram viewer. Here we've got uh, two of the chromatograms associated with one of the contigs. We can scroll through. We've got a little overview window up here. We've got a little close-up window on the right. We could change a base call. So, for example, not that we necessarily would want to, but let's change this Y here. And we can see that there's the Y in the matrix right there. We can change this Y to a C. And we now see that in the matrix itself, that's changed to a C. Within the matrix, we can uh, align the sequences, we can reverse complement them as needed, uh, do analyses, and then later come back and use the chromatogram viewer to look in more detail at a particular base and change its call as we wish.